RCB, better known as Reptilian Club Boys, has grown to be one of the most controversial underground rap groups, have one of the most cult-like fan bases, and included some of the most unique music to come out of the underground in the past few years from musicians like Hi-C, Cartier God, Lil Shine, and more. But who are the members? How did it start? And what led to the group's demise? I'm Rashad Fashir, and this is the rise and fall of RCB. RCB was found in 2016 by DOMD, also known as Diamonds on My Pecker. That year, he hit up Hi-C on SoundCloud and said, let's work. So Heisey sent him some beats. Nothing happened until Heisey hit DOMD to make a song. That song turned into a tape, and then more tapes. Pretty soon they did a show, and that was the start. In its peak, RCB grew to over 10 concurrent members, but in the very beginning, it was just DOMD and Hi-C as a duo. So let's go over how they got their start in music. Starting off with Hi-C. Christian Isaiah Shaw, known as Hi-C, began making music in high school. At the time, his inspirations were Wiz Khalifa, Big Sean, Kendrick Lamar, Odd Future, and Tyler the Creator. When he got a bit older, he started to discover underground rap, like Blade, Die Boy Digital, Young Bruh, and Black Cray. Later on, he'd combine these influences in his own music. He also loved manga and anime, watching anime like Helsing, Cowboy Bebop, Dragon Ball Z, and Naruto, and was musically inclined, playing instruments, and even being able to read music. He said he knew he was going to be a rapper since he was a kid. He heard the goats like Lil Wayne and Lil Boosie, his words, not mine, and said, that's what I want to do. In 2011, at the age of 13, he began producing under the name Christopher O, and some of those beats are still on SoundCloud. His earliest vocal work is called Space Shit, a song he made with his friends across the street. The SoundCloud with that song on it is actually still active, and the music video for one of his first songs, Raw, still exists. Later, he changed his name to Boogie on the Beat, C Boogie, and Christer. During that time, he produced for YSB OG, Wi-Fi God, Sick Boy Rari, and other members of Goth Money. Later, during the RCB era, he changed his name to High C. He got the name from an old job he used to hate, not the drink. He had a supervisor who used to think he was always high. In reality, the job site was always really hot and High C was hungover, which made him drowsy. But his boss didn't know that, so he called him High C because his name starts with C, he decided to stick with it. In 2015, he formed his own collective, Cash Cobras. However, it became defunct in only a year. Soon after, High C's production caught the eye of DOMD and their friendship would lead to the beginning of RCB. Tyler Samuel Arrington, known professionally as DOMD, is an artist from Richmond, Virginia. Before founding RCB, he was a member of Agos Collective, S God Records, and much later on, even Space Ghost Perps Collective, Vodechi. He began posting music to SoundCloud in 2016 as Young Ugly, aka Lil 777, as a part of Icy Trap Records. Some of his more notable songs from the time were Ginseng, Sniper Boo, and Lonely Trip Ears. At the time, DOMD was a part of the small but bubbling scene in Virginia, and a little known fact about him is he's Black Cray's cousin, having collabed with Cray and others from Goth Money like Luckilene. His career was actually jump-started by a Virginian collective called Clan. During this time, he was even affiliated with GBC, collaborating with many members of Goth Boy Click, like Lil Tracy, Horsehead, and Coldheart. He was even around in Lil Pete, Fat Nick, and Smoke Perps When The Lean Runs Out Tour. He officially changed his name to Diamonds On Might when the first tape from RCB dropped. The next prominent member of RCB was Cartier God, who officially joined the collective on April 17, 2018. They originally came into contact when DOMD went into his live and told him he had an open verse he wanted to send him, and the rest was history. Cartier God is actually most well known for his own collective, Ocean Gang, which used to even include Soldier Boy and Agoth. He's mostly known for popularizing water lingo such as drip and splash, which are now common in both rap and pop culture. DOMD and Cartier God would go on to release Digital Drip, a collab tape, as well as a group tape, Bloodthirsty, with Hi-C as well. From then on, more members would be added to the group, in no particular order, Lil Shine, Lil Kawhi, Majority W Sinclair, Lazy God, Draco Montana, Mai Mai, Play With Toys, Stunny, and even producers like Flancy, along with a bunch more creatives. In 2019, the group began to be managed by Marcy May, who would produce for them as well. I won't go over all of the members, but the most important members, other than the main three, were Lil Shine, Lazy God, Lil Kawhi, and Majori. Lil Shine was added to the group by DOMD in 2020, and although they collabed on only one song together, Pretty Boy Bandit, Shine had collabs with other members of the group, like High C, and was even pretty close with Cartier God, who he also had a song with. Tell nobody. Before RCB, Shine's personality was more basic and his influences were clearer, meaning his music was limited to plug and B. After he joined RCB, his aesthetic began to change and he became more creative. Shine would ultimately leave the group in 2021 during the turmoil of DOMD's allegations. Hailing from South Florida, Lazy God was one of the first members added to RCB and was a frequent collaborator of both DOMD and High C. He's still close with High C and was even a part of one of SGP's collectives. Fabian Martinez, or Lil Kawhi, was a rapper who has been involved in the scene for quite some time. He was friends with Lil Tracy and certain members of Goth Boy Click, like Coldheart, and used to hang out with them, and can be spotted at old Goth Boy Click shows. His largest singles are his songs with Lil Tracy, but sometime during 2019, he became friends with DOMD 
In 2020, he would join RCB. The two had many clouds together. Unfortunately, Lil Kwai passed away in 2021. Orion Sage Ohana, better known as Majori WC Sinclair, with even more alter egos like Evanara Unlimited and House Pet, is a Detroit trap style artist from Oakland and recently has gained even more attention for his appearance. But of course, RCB is no longer together. So what happened? Sometimes during 2020, Heisey got mad at DOMD and dropped him on Instagram Live. DOMD felt emasculated and subconsciously began to resent Hi-C, causing the group to ultimately fall apart. I'm just kidding, but that did happen on Instagram Live. RCB actually fell out due to DOMD being a horrible person. In 2020, multiple allegations came out about him being involved with an underage girl, constantly scamming fans, and being an abuser. Hi-C had allegations as well, but he was proven to be innocent. Scamming is usually tolerated by underground rap fans, but DOMD pushed the line with other stuff, and most of it turned out to be true. This caused members like Cartier God to distance himself from him and Lil Shine to leave the group. The nail in the coffin was Hi-C announcing he would be leaving the group. He said it was to focus on his solo career, but most fans knew the real reason. He had fallen out with DOMD, who was his closest friend, likely over the allegations, which were probably too much to stay friends with him over. After their falling out, Hi-C would promptly remove all of his music with DOMD on SoundCloud, except a couple, to fully dissociate himself from DOMD. While it was active, RCP put out a boatload of music, the most popular being their albums Rock Out Club, Boys Bizarre Adventure, and Bloodthirsty. But the group put out much more than just that, so let's get into it. RCP's music dates back to its founding in 2016, and for the first couple of years, it was really just DOMD and Hi C as a duo. Hi C, Papa Green Goblin, Frankenstein Walk, featuring DOMD. One of their oldest collabs, Hi C just raps about drugs, and DOMD throws a generic verse in as well. In 2017, they dropped Reptilian Shrine their first collab project. And overall, it's a pretty decent melodic tape. There's rap like OG Gas, produced by Working On Dying, as well as plug songs like Charles Manson. Later that year, hi appeared on DOMD's mixtape Bloody Rain Volume 1 on So Icy. In the song, hi references anime like Dragon Ball Z and cartoons like The Simpsons. In the beginning of 2018, they dropped Demons in Tokyo, the movie. This tape featured Cartier God in one of the songs as well, and was a lot edgier with more focus on their aesthetic. The best song on the tape was Itachi, named after a Naruto character. Most of the song is them calling themselves pretty boy demons and their typical edgy lyrics like demon on the farm, human souls, what I'm harvesting. King Lamagra 222 featuring Black Cray. One of DMD's best songs, they rap about casting love cells and RCB things like uh, drinking ketchup. In my opinion, it's DMD's best song and Cray's verse was hard as well. During this year, hi -C also dropped memorable solo music such as Skins 222, a love song where he's singing over one of his craziest beats. At the end of the year, DOMD and the newest member of RCB, Cartier God, dropped a collab tape, Digital Drip, which is alright. 2019 and 2020 were the group's most active years by far, dropping multiple tapes and hundreds of singles. In the beginning of the year, they dropped Bloody Rain Boys The Game, and one of the songs even featured Black Cray. In it, DOMD raps about not being able to fall in love and getting money. He doesn't actually though. The best song on the tape is Uh Um Pull Up. Produced by Hi-C. Reptilian Club Boys, Oh Yeah, Juiced Up, Pop Punk, Emo Swag. A song released under their group name, Oh Yeah, Juiced Up, Pop Punk, Emo Swag, is a synth pop infused rap song that samples a French cold wave band, Asylum Party, and the style of the song is what made fans love RCB so much. In February, they dropped Reptilian Cash App Boys, which was just a melodic EP, which was good but only had two songs. In April, they dropped Bloodthirsty, where they rapped as a trio with Cartier God. This time, they rapped about the usual drugs, money, and random edgy lyrics in songs like Bloodthirsty, 7-Eleven, and Heartbreak, but this tape was different from the other tapes because it had Cartier God's sound mixed with the classic RCB. That same month, hi -C dropped LSD on my tongue, his most popular song to this day, where he raps about drugs and what he does when he's on them. In Rest in Peace Paul Walker featuring DOMD, hi -C talks about blowing money and a girl he loves. It's their most streamed song together as well. Reptilian Club Boys Bizarre Adventure. It's one of their best tapes. OK is a really catchy song where they rap about their lifestyles consisting of women, cars, guns, money, and clothing over a dreamy yet hard hitting beat. In Mad Max, a tread song, another great song, the name comes from them comparing shooters to Mad Max. In the end of the year, they ended off with dropping two tapes, Pretty Boy the EP and Diary of a Pretty Boy Volume 1. There's not really much to say other than that they just rap about their pretty boy aesthetic. In 2020, High C started to gain more recognition. In the beginning of the year, he dropped Pretty Demon Rockstar, songs like Bye Bye or Euphoric, and there's even some Chief Keef influence in the production. These songs would blow up a couple years later through TikTok and become some of High C's biggest songs. In March of that year, RCP dropped its last and probably their best tape, Rock Out Gang. Songs like Pretty Boy Demons, Nightmare, and Fallen Angels are all really good, and almost all of the songs have their own unique sound. They dropped some more singles like Crying Diamonds, and later hi -C dropped his tape No More Heroes Volume 1, which DOMD was featured on. But there wasn't really much after that. After the allegations came out, DOMD and hi -C fell out, 
On March 23rd, 2021, High C left the group and RCB was over with. High C was the most popular member by far at that point and some fans even believed the group was holding him back at that point. Since it was disbanded, most of the prominent members other than DOMD are doing pretty well. High C's music blew up through TikTok, Cardi God has become more popular, and Lil Shine has become one of the largest plug and B artists. DOMD even changed his name to Bloody Rain and will probably block me after making this video. RCB had a lot of potential, but unfortunately due to allegations, scamming, and horrible behavior by the members, and I mostly just mean DOMD, the group fell apart. The reason fans were so drawn to RCB was the production and aesthetic, which were all pretty one of one. The random sound effects, the weird mix, really weird vampire lyrics, which are actually kind of fire, they were pretty creative, and that's rare to come across, even in underground rap. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear more of my personal thoughts, check out part 2, The Influence of RCB, where I go deeper into DOMD's allegations and more details about the rest of the group that didn't fit into this video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.